Pixel 5 is Google's top smartphone for 2020. It comes with 5G Ovid, a simplified design that is very similar to the excellent, cheaper Pixel 4a. It is available in either black or green and costs $699, fitting in above the larger and cheaper $599 Pixel 4a 5G and the smaller $449 Pixel 4a. Google has ditched the high-tech Soli radar system and face recognition from the Pixel 4 and gone back to the basics for a much simpler design. It is all screen on the front, with an aluminium body that is texture-coded aiding durability and grip. Side by side with the slightly smaller Pixel 4a it is very difficult to tell the phones apart. The Pixel 5 has a larger screen, 6 inches, and has a refresh rate of 90 Hz, which makes scrolling and animations visibly smoother. The screen is bright, colorful and crisp enough, but can't quite match the best from Samsung, Apple or OnePlus. Weighing just 151 grams, the Pixel 5 is light compared with most rivals, which makes it one of the easiest smartphones to handle. Specifications. Screen, 6 inches FHD plus 90 Hz OLED, 432 pixels per inch. Processor, Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G. RAM, 8 GB of RAM. Storage, 128 GB. Operating system, Android 11. Camera, 12.2 megapixels plus 16 megapixels ultrawide and 8 megapixels selfie. Connectivity, 5G, eSIM, Wi-Fi 5, NFC, Bluetooth 5, ACC, APTX, HD, LDAC, and location. Water resistance, IP68, up to 1.5 meters depth in water for 30 minutes. Dimensions, 114.7 x 70.4 x 8 mm. Weight, 151 grams. Lower performance chip with good battery life. The Pixel the 5th of maybe Google's top smartphone, but it does not have a top spec processor. Instead, it uses the Qualcomm Sanpidragon 765G, which is a 5G capable upper to middle range chip recently found in the $479 OnePlus Nord and in the cheaper $599 Pixels 4A. Most flagship smartphones use Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chip or similar, which is almost twice as fast on paper. With this, gaming experience is reduced but not to a level that most will notice. Battery life is good, with 36 hours between charges when the screen is on for 6 hours and 5G is being used for 2 hours, the rest is spent on Wi-Fi. That means the Pixel 5 should last on day 1 until 7 p.m. on day 2. Android 11, Google's way. The Pixel 5 is one of the first phones to be released running the latest version Android 11 and can expect a minimum of three years of operating system and security updates, which is still some way behind Apple's five-year support for iPhones. The Pixel's version of Android is slick and well-optimized. It is attractive and simple and works like most other versions of Android, with full adoption of gesture controls, updated media controls and conversation options built into Android 11. But on top are a few Google exclusives such as automatic transcription in the improved Google Recorder app, new live view for Google Maps, which uses augmented reality to point out where your friends are, improved smart reply suggestions for messages in chat apps, and superfast new Google Assistant's experience. Camera. Google continues to be the market leader in adaptable point-and-shoot photography in most lighting conditioned. On the back, the Pixel 5 has a standard 12.2 megapixel camera along with an a 16 megapixels ultrawide camera, but no telephoto camera for optical zoom. Instead, Google is relying on its SuperRezoom technology, which is a type of digital zoom that is arguably capable of matching a 2 times optical zoom, but has its limits beyond that. The still photos are fantastic, full of drama, detail in well-balanced colors and with excellent management of high contrast and difficult lighting, including in dim settings. A new portrait setting allows you to shift the angle and intensity of light around a subject too, just using your fingers, with excellent results. New video shooting at up to 4K 60 frames per second and better stabilization are significant improvements, including the fun cinematic pan that slows movement a little and stabilizes the frame for a movie-like pan. Samsung and app phones are still better for video, but Google is slowly catching up. Final verdict. The Pixel 5 is an excellent Google phone that gets back to the basics of being a good smartphone while adding useful features and nice touches.
The battery is solid, the 90Hz screen is good and smooth, the fingerprint scanner on the back is simple and fast, and the camera is another masterclass in simple, reliable point-and-shoot excellent. No other phone makes you look as good a photographer with no effort. The size and feel of the device is really nice too, it is light with a soft, textured finish that is easy to grip and appears durable. If you are fed up with large, heavy, expensive, slippery glass-backed phones, the Pixel 5 will make a refreshing change. But the processor simply doesn't compare in raw processing or graphics power to those in the new iPhone or Galaxy S20. Cons. No headphone socket, no flagship processor and no expandable storage. Pros. Great camera, good screen, great software and update support, good battery life, relatively small, fairly inexpensive, recycled aluminium. Thank you for watching. Let us know as this is the kind of smartphone you would buy. Also let us know your views. See you in the next video. Until then, stay safe.